Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Wouter Witwut, the CEO and chairman of EV Technology Group, symbol EVTG in Canada and EVTGF in America. How are you doing today, Wouter? Doing very well. Thanks a lot for having me on. Always a pleasure. Very excited to have you on the show. My first question leads to... And for those of you that don't know, EV Technology Group is focused on acquiring and partnering with iconic brands and significant growth potential in unique markets and electrifying them. EV Technology Group has a busy few months with a couple of exciting announcements to talk about. Can you start by telling us about the Moak acquisition and what it means for the company? Yeah, we um, when we started EV Technology Group, you know, with my vision of you know rather than building um, a completely new car brand from the ground up, we actually acquire you know existing brand equity that is there and then turning that into um, into an electric car. And since we you know invested in Moog earlier uh, uh, last year, we you know we kind of made the decision that this is something we we really want to have as an anchor investment within the company. And for me, you know, the Moog is is one of the most iconic car brands um, uh, that is out there. It's, it's also, it has a global reach. So, you know, on July the 20th, we announced that we now have agreed to acquire 100% of the company and really looking forward to, you know, kind of building that, uh, that brand out uh, on a global scale. Congratulations. And the company also began trading on the OTCQB under the symbol EVTGF recently and gained DTC eligibility. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we really wanted, to, since our Canadian listing, of course, opens up our you know investment for Canadian investors. Really wanted to target an American audience as well. There's a huge demand, you know, for the Moog in gated communities. Um, you know, we're we're um, uh, we're, we're at some point we'll launch a low speed vehicle on Moog for uh, that's suitable for golf courses and. And I think it's a really interesting story for the North American investors, uh, especially in the United States as well. So we made that quick um, uh, dual listing on the OTCQB. And yeah, it's really phenomenal that we now have a you know, wider audience that, uh, that can invest in, uh, in our stock. Congratulations for listing on the OTCQB. Now, the Moke brand as a whole, EV Technology Group subsidiary Moke France, has made some significant headway this year with electric moke orders generating over 500,000 euros following the opening of an initial pilot of its direct consumer sales can you tell us more about that yeah we started um we started really small with a small pilot to sell out some moke and they were immediately sold out within within a few weeks yesterday we started with um we actually launched the direct to consumer website that now Complements the um, the the Casa Moog, the flagship store from Moog that we've um, that we've created in Saint Tropez, and those two together are really sort of driving the growth for um, for Moog to come. We, you know, the the initial orders that we received for the pilot, um, you know, it's now a multiple of that, and it looks like we're going to be sold out of all the production capacity for uh, for for this year already for the for, for both in France and for and in the United Kingdom. Wow, congratulations. That is unbelievable success. Now, Moke France also recently signed an exciting partnership with Gom Cano. What is the significance of that deal? When you try to operate a luxury brand, you need to think about, of course, your sales strategy, but as important as your after sales strategy. So um, it's not feasible for, uh, for, for a, a smaller manufacturer uh, such as Moog to have its own employees, uh, servicing, warranties, et cetera. So rather than having that on our balance sheet, we partnered with a uh, with a local firm called Go, Go Meccano, which is effectively like Uber for mechanics, but you'd never know. They show up in a, with a moat hoodie uh, and a hat. Um, uh, so they have a full service that looks like it's a moat service, but actually on the, under the hood, it's Go Meccano coming, uh, coming to the client in case there is any issue. 
Wooter, what other brand types are you considering acquiring? So when we look for other brands, what we look for is something that is iconic and that it has existing brand equity. So what you can typically look for, and this is the case of Moke, is maybe Reddit communities. There's an owner's club. There's people still repairing these, these cars, and it's close enough to where we are today um, uh, that people still remember that brand or still have a feeling for it. So that's what we're kind of looking for. We are in talks with a number of different exciting, um, you know, uh, acquisition targets following Moat. And um, uh, yeah, really excited to keeping uh, shareholders uh, and future shareholders up to date. Here at Rich TV Live, we've got investors from all over the world in our ecosystem. What milestones should those investors and future potential investors in EVTG look out for for the next four from EVTG? So we started the company last year and we've gone extremely quickly, but since making the first investment in Moke in September of last year, we listed the company. We've now agreed to acquire hundred percent. We've also been looking at and been updating our shareholders that one of the key things that we're looking for uh, in our group is not just the brands, but also looking at like critical manufacturing partners that we can make, you know, that we can take within our group, either in terms of a strategic partnership, JV or an acquisition. So I think what investors should be looking for is uh, follow us, check the check the new press releases, see how we get on with these acquisitions and how we're building out the brand. The second thing, uh, we just launched the Mocha direct-to-consumer website. It's um, it's very much um, uh, a, you know a, a restart of the brand now that the Mocha Electric is in the market. So following some of the milestones there in terms of you know how we convert uh, our our you know seven thousands or so registrations of interest to orders. I think will be something to really look out for and how we execute on those plans. And if investors want to learn more about EV Technology Group, how do they get in touch with you? So my email is always open. Um, we, have an, we have a website, evtgroup.com, where you can find more about the brand. You can get in touch. And people can always email me at uh, Wouter, W-O-U-T-E-R, at evtgroup.com if they want to learn more or, or, or have a question uh, around the company. Thank you so much for your time today. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love to bring you undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities before they explode. And I want everyone to put EVTG on your radar, on your watch list if you're in Canada, EVTGF. In America, we believe it has a chance to be a huge winner in the electrification of vehicles. Thank you so much for the CEO, Wooter Whitbutt, for joining us today. Thank you for so much for joining us today, and we'd love to have you back. Thanks a lot for having me today. It's always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the CEO interviews, we bring in the analysis, and we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day. Oh,